theater for me. I appreciate it. I, it's great to be here and to be free. You know, I don't know if you heard this, but uh, the Republic of North Korea today reported their first case of COVID-19. Can you imagine that? Two years after we all got it, <laughs> according to their director of uh, their National Institute of Infectious Disease, Dr. Dennis Rodman, the virus... <laughs> which until now had been undetected, uh, has appeared. How did COVID even get into North Korea? Did Kid Rock play Pyongyang and not tell us about it? Of course, the truth is there have probably been many cases of COVID in North Korea. The country just hasn't acknowledged them for fear of angering their leader's mighty scrotum, but they're admitting it now. <laughs> and they've ordered a shutdown, a nationwide lockdown. So if you live in North Korea, uh, just keep doing what you've been doing for the past 40 years. Not <laughs> Stay at home and maybe dig a hole. On the other side of the international coin, in Spain, the Spanish government is expected to pass a new law that would give women three days of menstrual leave every four weeks if they're in pain and need to stay home from work, which on the one hand is very considerate. On the other hand, it's going to be a little bit odd for everyone in the office to know when it's Gabriella's time of the month, isn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, here in um, the USA, our Republican leaders in Washington are writing a bill uh, that says if a woman has her period in the workplace, she is guilty of witchcraft and should be captured in a burlap bag and <laughs> cast into the sea. Things are getting very heated in Washington. Yesterday, Republican senators and Joe Manchin nixed a bill that would protect a woman's right to choose. And you'd think these people would be for the right to privacy, considering how many of them keep getting caught on tape doing weird stuff to their cousins, but <laughs> they're not. And President Biden weighed in yesterday. He predicted that if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, the next target for conservatives will be same-sex marriage. Uh, they'll come for same-sex marriage. They'll come for interracial marriage. They'll outlaw that peanut butter that comes in with the jelly in the same jar. <laughs> These guys, they might as well just come out and say, listen, here's the real story. If we can't get laid, nobody else is going to have any fun either. And, and so, the, uh, that committee investigating the riot, the January 6th committee today took the extraordinary step of sending subpoenas to five House Republicans who have refused to cooperate so far, Kevin McCarthy, Jim Jordan, Scott Perry, Andy Biggs, and Mo Brooks all got served. Either that or this is a Cialis commercial and you're just now... <laughs> Are you suffering from electile dysfunction? Well, I bet those guys are all huddled up right now trying to get their story straight. Remember, we were camping at the lake that day. <laughs> a subpoena is something Jim Jordan is in particular should be familiar with because, you know, when he was a wrestling coach, the team doctor saw a lot of peanut and he didn't do anything about it. So, and he's a good dude. He's a really good dude. Republicans have been trying to take, uh, uh, try to shift the focus away from taking uh, equal rights from us by blaming Joe Biden for the nationwide shortage of baby formula, but the president isn't having it. Not only is he pushing back, he has a plan to solve this problem personally. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Hey folks, I know times are tough with soaring gas prices and now a shortage of baby formula, but we've been through tough times before and we'll get through them again with my Ma Biden's non-clotting baby child. This is the same porridge my own dear mother would fry up in the storm cellar back when I was no bigger than a hickory stump. Every can is chopped, boiled twice, and pickled personally by me, Uncle Joe. All the ingredients a little nipper needs to make him strong enough to gnaw through chicken wine. For the daily recommended doses of corn fritters, sassafras, cod liver oil, Johnny cakes, and a healthy helping of beaver meat. Mama Biden's non-clotting baby chow. Go to your local general store and pick up a sack of cans today. Sounds, sounds very tasty. In, um, in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, this is good, uh, a young couple, the Bridgefords, got married last month, and as people who get married, do they hire a photographer? 
But when they got the photos of the wedding back, they had been retouched. Um, some of the guests had their eyes closed because they blinked or whatever. And so a photo editor went in there and made them all terrifying. <laughs> I mean, th this is... <laughs> the only explanation I could come up with looking at this is that the guy who did the retouching must have eyes like that. I mean, he must... <laughs> It must be, yeah, this is what people look like. This is, otherwise, how do you send those? And as disturbing as that was, Pennsylvania has nothing on Florida when it comes to love. And with that said, it's time for a new edition of This Week in Florida. Jose Trujillo is riding his bike home from work here along Radio Road. Next thing you know, his wife pulled up next to him, pulled out a gun, and that's when he says she shot him. Not even a bullet to the butt can shatter love. Of course I would like to spend the rest of my life with her. That's my baby, you know, till the toe tags. That's right, till the toe tags. <laughs> till the toe tags. <laughs> I have to, I'm impressed. Is that a saying, till the toe tags, or did he make that up? It's kind of beautiful if you can look past the being murdered part of it, you know? <laughs> This is from uh, Twitch. Are you on Twitch, Guillermo? Do you ever go on Twitch? No, no, Jimmy. No, not just, at all. just marijuana, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah like, a lot. Um, <laughs> Twitch, is, um, Twitch is an app that has live videos, mostly of people watching other people playing video games, but they also have more traditional programming like this cooking in a mini dress show. and never cook anything again. <laughs> I do that almost every weekend, by the way. Another popular app is Grindr. This is the uh, LG... <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> LGBTQ plus dating app. It announced this week... Uh, it didn't announce. The people at work there announced that it's going public. Now, uh, well, that's the app I wish Elon Musk would buy, right? I mean, but when a business goes public, it means they're selling stock in their company. And uh, for most straight people, Grindr's a bit of a mystery. So to shed some light on how it works, I asked one of our writers, Louis Vertel, who's a Grindr user, to take us through it. And here he is to do that now, is part of Vertel It Like It Is. Louis? Grindr is more than a gay hookup app. It's also the most popular last name in my phone. Alex Grinder, Big Lips Grinder, Joe Grinder. None of these people know each other, but to me, they're a family. <laughs> the Grinders. Grinder is a great way to meet queer people in your area, learn they're 150 feet away, and wonder if they're watching you right now. Oh, like that guy. <laughs> Sir. Sir, I love the hair. I can't do this right now. I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> if you go on Grindr, here are the five types of profile pictures you can expect to see. Okay, number one, the straightforward guy. This is the conventional approach. A face pic, maybe some body, rarely a full smile. Like, for now, this is as much as you get from me. <laughs> Next, shadow man. <laughs> no face, just a washed out torso. Sometimes it's lit well enough that you think, oh, that's my friend Gus. <laughs> I recognize the areolas. <laughs> you know on Let's Make a Deal when Monty Hall is like behind door number three, there's a big prize and it has four wheels and the contestant jumps up and down and she can't believe her luck and then the prize turns out to be a broken lawnmower? That's this. <laughs> that's the risk you're setting yourself up for with Shadow Man. Maybe he's the man of your dreams. Maybe he's your Uncle Gene. <laughs> Number three is the smiling couple. <laughs> couple sharing a grinder account is cute. It's also terrifying. Why would they do this? How do I know which one is texting me? 
The one with the abs or the one with the job? <laughs> Is this a relationship or a low rent Hall and Oates with a French bulldog in it? I can't tell. <laughs> Next, the I'm wearing a cap guy. Wearing a cap is a whole grinder category. It suggests so much. Oh, I've heard of sports. <laughs> what it usually means is my hairline is controversial. <laughs> Anyone who grew up with Carmen Sandiego knows the power of a big brim. Her hat makes her cool as hell, even though she's literally just a thief who knows geography. <laughs> But this last category is for the real go-getters. Grinder doesn't have to be a talkative experience. Sometimes this is all the hello you need. Number five, the here's my whole ass guy. <laughs> I love this approach. Because here's his ass. All of it. You've heard of gay pride? This is as proud as it gets. You know, normally, if you go on a date with a guy, he's sitting down. You can't see his ass. <laughs> this method eliminates that problem altogether. No chatter, no small talk, no ifs, ands, or... No ifs or ands. <laughs> okay, one last bonus category before we go. It's the, I bought this singlet on Amazon for $12, and I may as well use this time to show it off guy. AKA, just me. <laughs> He's not for everybody. Just like Grindr. But if you haven't turned the TV off yet, he might be for you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That was very, very educational. It's nice to have a business segment on the show, you know? Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.